Let us talk about God. Now, let us imagine me, or for that matter, anyone standing on a stage with a thousand people in attendance, and that sentence is spoken. A simple statement, yes? Or maybe not. There are over 200 different Christian denominations listed in the U.S., and over 30,000 denominations and subdivisions listed worldwide. So if I speak those words, let us talk about God, to 1,000 people, chances are there are in all probability anywhere from 100 to 200, if not more, different interpretations of God within that group. Uh, you might say to yourself, what does it matter? And I would say to you that it matters a great deal. Because what your foundation and definition of God is will affect everything that proceeds from that belief from that point on. Your prayers, your calls for manifestation, your life choices, interaction with people as well as your definition of life and death will be colored by your foundational belief. So many words in the English language have been diluted to the point of uselessness, and certainly God is one of these words. And I am guessing that my definition is either radically or mildly different than yours at this point in the talk. We need to create our own definition of God. And once that definition has been solidified, then we can proceed from that and build a spirit-based life based on truth and not organizational lies and misperceptions. Remember that your definition is as valid as your brother's, but that it will also show in expression. God will give you all you ask for, nothing more and nothing less. First, allow me to elucidate my definition of God for a benchmark. My God is the only non-polarized energy in creation, which means He, She, It is the only love and nothing else. My God does not preside over wars in heaven, an absurd storyline created by man. My God does not cast angels down into hell, for hell was built by man and God knows not its location. My God does not seek worship through fear. He knows not what fear is. My God does not want to be worshipped. He wants to be expressed. My God is expressed equally in a child as he is in a pope. My God does not judge, condemn, or punish His creations. My God has given His creations one of the greatest gifts of all, which is free will. My God is a personal God. He knows who I am and loves me for who I am now, not in the future. My God created me magnificent and pure. My God loves all equally, no hierarchy, no chosen people, no favoritism. My God not only created earth and humanity, He created trillions of worlds and millions of civilizations throughout creation. And my God does not possess the dysfunction of humanity. My God is not the God of the Old Testament. My God does not need an intercessor to speak to Him. I have complete access to my God. And if I cannot hear my God, it is my fault, not God's, for God is nearer than hands and feet. My God waits for me even when I turn my back to Him, always waiting, always loving, and always near. My God gives me guardian angels to guide me through life, and if I cannot see them, it is because I am blind and not them. My God gives me legions to fight the darkness that I allowed into my creation. My God allows me the ability to create at will with the caveat that I must experience that which I created. My God holds for me the keys to the kingdom and keeps for me my birthright even though I have not spoken to him in eons. My God will give me anything his child seeks as long as it is my best interest and the interest of humanity. My God is love. Only love and His angels and legions are an extension of that love and have always been. And then I live my life as an expression of my God. 
So if you are having issues in your spiritual life, unable to manifest, unhappy with work or relationship, you need to look at your foundational beliefs that were built, sometimes subconsciously, from familial, cultural, and religious beliefs that were carried down through your lineage for eons without your consent. Remember, God only gives what you ask for. If you believe that you are a beggar, God will give you a beggar share. And if you believe you are a prince, then God will grant to you that which is your birthright. It is time for you to stand up, redefine the God you want to express, and live the life that your God wants to express through you. Settle for nothing less than your divine birthright and take your place rightfully as the Christed Son of God. So be it.